Something interesting, it seems to me, that happened there, too, because it was, again, part, part of the cultural phenomenon. Uh, it was obviously rock and roll. And we were playing uh, from 1958. Uh, we were playing rock and roll music, and the kids would come up. There was nothing really formal about it. We would do the, the show. The kids who liked to dance would come up and dance. We had no screening process, but they were all white. All of the kids who came up to dance were white. Well, we were also in the middle, of course, of a cultural revolution, uh, which was the civil rights movement. And one day, about six or eight very brave, very nervous, but very brave young black kids, three boys and three girls, showed up and wanted to dance. And it was, I don't know why it hadn't occurred to me before. I was so wrapped up in myself that I hadn't thought of it before. But immediately there was tension uh, between the white kids who were there and the black kids who wanted to dance. Well, we solved that problem very quickly. I just came over and said hello to him, shook hands, and gave him, uh, gave him uh, each a Coke. Coke was sponsoring us at that time. But that event led the sponsors and the station to cancel my show. And they canceled it within two weeks. They did not want to be involved in that kind of confrontation. Okay, I got to thinking about that. I was furious, of course. And what was the reason they gave you? Oh, uh, not making enough money. And the sponsor was going to place their money elsewhere, and there was no other sponsor who would take on the show. And uh, I said, okay. And I, I stormed and did the usual things. But then I got to think about it. I said, well, what if I do it this way? Already, from 1956 and 57, schools were being integrated in Kentucky. They were slower than many other states, but Governor Happy Chandler had said, this is the law of the land, you will integrate these schools. So I've got to think of it. What happens if I salute the school? And what happens if I say, send me 30 kids, send me the debate team, send me the cheerleaders, send me the basketball team, send me, I tell them who I want. And if I can get a sponsor for that, myself, do we have a show? Went to Dr. Pepper. I love Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper, I'll love him forever. Because the guy from Dr. Pepper said, sure, let's do it, let's try it. Went back to the station with a sponsor, with an idea, and by golly, we stayed on the air for six years. I went up and was, uh, uh, it was the highest rated local dance show in the Midwest. Uh, Dick Clark called me and said, will you come up and uh, do my show? And he was still in Philadelphia at the time. He said, you know, you, you got one of the highest rated shows. Why don't you come up and do my show? And I did. I went up and did his show for two days while he was on vacation up in, uh, up in Philadelphia, all based on uh, the success of that show. And the success of that show was based on inclusion, inclusion. And I've never forgotten that lesson. And I'm really proud of that whole show, very proud of it.